Hey everybody, welcome back to a Depot a Day. So happy um, to be just recording another video. <laughs> you guys know if you've watched my first video that this has been a long time coming. So every time I do one of these, I'm pretty excited, okay? I feel pretty accomplished. Let's dive right into the Depot today. I wanted to talk a little bit about therapy. Therapy has been the greatest gift that I've given myself. Um, I started, I guess, what, how old was I? 28, I was 28 when I started. I was just so like depleted and I, I was sad and I was heartbroken in some ways, I guess. And probably, I always say like I was heartbroken by myself because you know, I was probably I'm going through some situations that I really put myself in. And, uh, but I was sad and I felt heavy and I just wanted to change some things and kind of get to the root of why I was repeating some of the same cycles and why I was feeling the way I was feeling. Also how I was going to deal with anxiety moving forward. Um, cause it felt like it was starting to get a little bit worse. Therapy is a tool that we can add to our toolbox. It is provides actually I wouldn't even say just one tool I think therapy provides you with multiple tools when you have a good therapist and you're going consistently to navigate life more uh more effectively you know um to not be rattled by the same things that have rattled you before to have more power over your life and I think the mistake that we tend to make is that we wait for things to be terrible for things to be bad to go to therapy. And that's, you know, this very like reactive, um, this very, it's a very reactive scenario. And I think, you know, even like with getting sick, I think we do this a lot in life. Like we wait until we're super duper sick to go to the hospital. It's like, why? Like, no, let's be proactive. You start feeling funny. You know, when your body is telling you that something's off, don't even ask for people to confirm it. Don't Google it. Just go to the doctor if you're blessed to have health insurance, right? I realize that not everybody has health insurance. Um, but if you're able to, go get it checked, right? Like, why are we always waiting for things to get so bad before we take the necessary steps to get the help that we need? And so this video is really just to encourage you to start viewing therapy as an opportunity for you to prepare. I just went to therapy last Monday and I, I feel really happy. I feel very excited right now about just my life and my future and where I'm going. And I feel like I'm being very intentional. All that to say, I still went to therapy last Monday and ended up crying unexpectedly. And it wasn't like, oh my God, this cry that I like, I'm like, oh, my life. is. So it wasn't that type of cry, but it's still like sitting down with her for an hour, um, just allowed me to say a few things that I didn't even know I needed to say, but by saying them, I was able to take some of my power back. I think it's a really powerful form of accountability and um, you have this person who has no bias, you know, is not taking things you say personally, is not going back and repeating the things that you tell them. It doesn't even have to be well thought out and responsible and like, I can't sit, like, you know, sometimes I think in conversations with people, you're treading lightly, you're, you're trying to make sure you say the right thing in the right tone and all this stuff. In therapy, it's a very open and safe environment. So I just want to encourage like that person who's been holding off on therapy to make that appointment. Don't wait for things to be so bad. Um, start preparing yourself now. And it's not to say that things will not still happen that knock the wind out of you. Um, life life is here for that reason <laughs> like it is a very unpredictable chaotic place and there are going to be moments and experiences that feel like they're going to take us out but i think you know at least my testimony with therapy has definitely been that you know i feel way more self-aware i feel um, like I can call things how they are much quicker when it comes to myself. It's always easier to call people out on their shit. But what about your own shit? It stinks too, right? And it's like, I can see where I'm kind of going before I even get there. Like if I'm emotional, if I'm being sensitive or I'm taking things personally, like I can see red flags a lot more clearly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, learning ways to deal with, with anxiety, um, knowing that I'm going to feel things, but then like practicing in real time 
how to not let those feelings get the best of me and to not allow them to exist in my space for too long. Like these are all things that over the course of what, like almost two years, you know, I've been prepared to deal with in a more mature, in a more uh, honest, in a more uh, direct way and in a more responsible way. And I don't get it right all the time, let me say that. I don't get it right all the time, but I'm just, I have tools in my toolkit now. I'm more equipped. Because of the tools in my toolkit, I'm more equipped. Um, and that does make you feel more powerful, more confident, um, because you feel in, in better control of your life and of your, at least of your emotions and the way you react to life. I should say that, not just life, because life does throw things at you that you have no control over. Um, but yeah, let's be more proactive, less reactive in multiple situations in life, but especially in therapy. Like, go try it out. Go take care of your mental health. Go talk to somebody. Go say the things that have been on your heart for forever that you've never said out loud to anybody. Go say it on that damn couch. If you don't have insurance to go sit down on the couch with somebody, I know Talkspace is an app that I haven't tried, but that I've heard a lot about on like the podcast that I listen to. Um, ask for help. Go to a church. Go to a council. Like, you know, just take care of yourself. And um, let's be real. Let, oh, damn it. Let's be proactive, not not reactive. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Whatever. You know, I was only a cheerleader for one year when I said that I was the girl. <laughs> I actually did have fun being a cheerleader for the one year in high school that I was. Well, and middle school. Wait, did I do it in middle school too? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's the depot for the day. Let's talk all things therapy. Should we do this? Should we, should we make merch that says more proactive, less reactive? Hmm. Ideas. Ideas are birthed when you do what you're supposed to do and you're walking in your purpose and you're doing things that you love and that are coming from the heart that are honest. That's a whole nother tangent. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm.